I'm Slaven Pelesh, I'm computational scientist at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. SIAM, which stands for Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics, has a very important role to fill. Fundamental mathematics research is very important. It is what gives us tools. On my uh, current project, my team and I are trying to keep the lights on without scorching our planet. Power grid is everything that brings energy from power plants to the power socket in your home. When we talk about the US transmission, uh, power grid, we are talking about uh, over 100,000 miles of transmission lines and uh, hundreds of organizations that manage power generation and transmission one way or another. So it is arguably one of the most complex engineering systems ever built. 58% of electricity in the US is produced by burning fossil fuels. I believe we are talking about 30 quadrillions of BTUs of energy, so this is huge. Burning fossil fuels uh, changes the composition of our atmosphere, and this is causing the climate change. As a consequence, we have extreme droughts and wildfires going on as we speak. We had different weather patterns that were completely unusual, such as freezing storms in Texas. We had above normal hurricane season in the Gulf of Mexico. The grid as we have it today uh, was not designed first for the weather patterns that we see right now. Uh, we cannot rely that much on the past experience to plan and operate grid securely and efficiently as we did in past decades. We have renewable sources of energy, such as wind and solar. The problem is that we don't know how to control it, and they are not as controllable as burning fossil fuels. We have to learn how to incorporate variable generation to the grid. So wind is not constant, sunlight is not constant. We cannot turn the valves on and off uh, to regulate it. Uh, so we have to put these scenarios with more wind, with less wind on a grid model and see how grid will behave. And finally, the renewable energy uh, resources have lesser inertia than traditional big power plants. That means that any change or disturbance in the grid will probably propagate much faster through the grid than was the case with traditional energy sources. And this is something that we need to investigate. When we are designing new car, we can crash it, put some crash test dummies and then crash it and smash it and see what's going to happen. We cannot build entirely new grid and stress test it and crash it several times. So really the only option that we have is to run extensive simulations and what-if scenarios in order to learn how can we make this better. If we have a hurricane approaching, we do have capability to run different analyses showing what could possibly happen with power grids. And with that analysis we can actually find the remedies to those events. Equally important is to tailor mathematical methods to specific problems in industry. And this is what SIAM's uh, mission is. SIAM has been organizing conferences, releasing journals, scientific journals, and providing structural support for doing applied research in mathematics, which is, needless to say, extremely important for our society and uh, how we move forward. So much brain power, so much creativity within our nation and uh, worldwide. And it is just so exciting to see what we are able to accomplish only when we focus our minds on something creative and positive.